Okay, hello, my name is Chris Carlson. I am doing a project using Weebly and Edmodo. Um, I created um, my rubric with using Rubristar, and um, I also had a little bit of help with Google Docs. Well, without further ado, let's get started. Um, first, I want to show you my uh, lesson plan real quick. All right, my lesson plan can also be found uh, using, um, oh, what is that wonderful website called? I can't remember it right offhand. Oh, it just came to me. Prezi, that's right. It's in my blog. Uh, you'll be able to check it when I've finally um, placed everything I want right there. So um, that's where this project's going to go that I'm making right now. But I have down here, it's very difficult to see, but when you click on it, it pops open full screen. Um, I have uh, my, my rubrics are here, my lesson plans, uh, a couple of other tutorials on how to pull this off. Okay, so this is my lesson plan. It's uh, basically built around social studies and technology. Um, I have some established goals, some ISTE standards. A student should be able to use technology to express ideas and exchange information. Convey ideas to a variety of audiences using publishing, multimedia, and communication tools. Social studies performance standards are pretty much everything Alaska. Alaska regions this, Alaska regions that. Um, uh, and I also kind of used a backwards design um, lesson plan to pull this off. So I'm really focusing on certain understandings and essential questions. What are major features? There we go, right there. What are major features of each region in Alaska, and how can I collect and share information about Alaska on a website? How can I do it? Got to find out how. Um, and then my nose and my ables too, and then my materials. And they're all here for reading. You can, um, I will have this uh, shared um, along with uh, this uh, wonderful um, video tutorial um, at the uh, at the end of my Prezi. So um, assessment evidence: students will complete an Edmodo quiz and will be requested to share their progress and web address. Once a week, students will continue this throughout the assignment. This is to replicate the student-teacher conference. And as this project goes, it's going to start getting uh, the same feel as a writer's workshop. It's kind of like a website workshop, as some students are going to progress faster than others. But we still have the same elements, such as the, the conferences, the drafts. It is rather that there is some writing involved, but writing is creating, and so is building videos and and using show me using the show me app those are all creating as well and so we want to use that same format okay and so begins the lesson and I like to start off some of my bigger units with kind of a, a hook something to really kind of grab their attention so using student computers I'm gonna have students explore webquest okay I probably forgot to mention I also use trackstar to create a webquest well these are fantastic because it allows students to browse for information without getting too off topic and I can kind of control the content as well and so students will go through these websites to collect very specific information and also see how they're really formatted do they just use text is there any other ways methods they share information that's a lot more interesting than just reading paragraphs um, or lists okay back to the lesson plan once students uh, have an opportunity to do that, they'll post their findings on Edmodo and comment or augment other posts uh, from their peers. Now, understandably so, I, don't, I can't really write a lesson plan within lesson plans to how to use Edmodo. So I'm assuming that the fluency on these, uh, these tools have already been discussed and applied. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, there you go. Okay, part two of... The lesson plan is a pretty good part of the, the, the meat or, or the background information. We have a textbook, Alaska Land in Motion. One day this will be um, an ebook that students can use on their iPads that they bring to class every day because they have their own iPads, God willing, one day. But until then, we have a textbook called Alaska Land in Motion. It's a wonderful book. It's written by Nancy Farrell. Um, and this one you kind of have to allow quite a bit of time for kids to kind of become familiar with all the different um, regions. Now along with this wonderful uh, book and those uh, that track star that I showed you with all those other websites, um, 
They're going to collect important facts regarding the people, geographical features, climate, history, and any other subtopic we can choose. All right, here comes the fun. Let me just uh, minimize the top part there. This lesson assumes the students have individual accounts already created. Once again, there's my uh, little disclaimer saying that it might be good to um, to spend a, a couple of uh, individual lessons with Weebly and let them build something that's just, you know, entertainment based or just interesting to them. Maybe they want to, you know, talk about their summer or any topic interesting to them. So there's not a lot of pressure. And uh, before we really get into the meat of using Weebly uh, for content, uh, for, for, you know, curriculum based content. Um, so we introduce Weebly to students using exemplary to the instruction. Okay, here's my website. Yeah, I know it's called Mr. Awesome's Alaska Blog. It was kind of a, um, a uh, <laughs> what do you call those things, that, those names? Uh, um, okay, it was a nickname given to me by a student I had last year. Hey, hey, Mr. Awesome, and it stuck. Granted, I might have helped it along a little bit. Okay, off topic, let's get back to it. This is my website that I use just to kind of show a little bit of what I'm expecting as far as formatting but I didn't want to give too much because students can want to tend they tend to want to emulate kind of what they see as far as examples and especially when we want to be creative we want to be careful with that um, so I created and let's see how fast this goes okay I show them a blog page and as I show them the blog page I'm talking about how to set it up um, how to how to edit the posts and where the comment buttons are and how to manage your comments um, try my quiz blah 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 like I said I don't want to give them all the information I'll end up just copying what I put down okay um, and then you can see up here in my menu I've got five uh, indistinct uh, uh, distinguishable uh, pages Okay, in this one, all about Interior Alaska, I show them how to make titles, how to add pictures, and how, and, whoops, sorry, and where to add the information, or what the information should look like. Oh, there's a sketch. There's a lot of different apps now and different ways you can make a picture and add, um, and add things in the picture. Okay. Okay, so that's, that, back to the lesson plan. Uh, so that's just a quick little um, uh, introduction on that um, on on that exemplar that I that I, I want to give them, just so they kind of get an idea. It's like, hey, this is what it's going to look like at the end. This will be kind of fun. And here is what it must contain. This is kind of a little bit redundant since each student has a rubric. So I could also just go over the rubric as well, and and it should cover kind of the same stuff. Um, now that I just kind of put it all together, there might be some discrepancies that I need to go back and take a look before really finalizing this. Okay, so this one, I want to point out that um, in retrospect, I could have spent a lot more time on this really discussing, but I got too into just getting them being creative. I've, I didn't stop to talk about referencing, and that does not mean there there should not be a, a greater level of importance put on it. Um, once again, if I was to put on my Captain Hindsight cape, I would definitely uh, add this into the lesson plan a little bit more strongly about, you know, how do we reference material, especially if we're taking pictures off the internet. I mean, that that's a pretty big deal. And so this is not something to, to just kind of be a, a grazed over. Um, yeah, so if you want to pause, take a look at that this is an important part of the lesson. Okay, now that I've gone over all of the, here's what you gotta do, here are the type of tools that you can use, it's time to create the website. Once again, here's my disclaimer, this lesson assumes students are familiar with certain online tools and apps listed below. Okay, so using textbooks and a track star, students add facts, photos, and all that good stuff, just like my exemplar should have uh, presented. And then, once they are done, after some, several lessons, days if not weeks, of creating a very um, media-rich uh, website, students are going to present their website to an audience. Okay, there's two different ways to look at assessments here. This is a, I mean, they're, they're building something here. 
the final product can be assessed using the rubric. And, you know, did we answer the uh, essential questions? Were we able to, um, you know, know how to do something and understand how it all works? We can ascertain some of that from our website. Now, there is a summative assessment option that I put down here, and I, it's, it sh probably shouldn't be an option. It's, it's rather good just to be the summative assessment, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't really produced this part of the whole lesson. Um, it took me quite a bit just to get them to build the website, so putting all this together, I have to admit, I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, that might be coming up in the next week. Uh, but students create up to five questions from their Alaska Regions facts, one from each region. Uh, the questions will be added to a student-created blog and um, um, on their own website. Right, so they're, they're creating a blog like I did in my exemplar. That was the first page that was up. They add the questions, and then students can answer and discuss the questions on their blog as a means of practice, so they can be kind of coaching one another. Um, and then the teacher selects and copies questions from the blog sites and creates an Edmodo quiz. And the Edmodo quiz is rather handy because at a touch of a button, those little puppies are graded. And then I can kind of go through and see which questions kind of gave them the most difficulty. And so this is a future um, element that I plan to add into this whole lesson package that, that we just finished. But I'm really excited about this uh, assessment option. I think this would be fun for the kids and a great way to uh, assess and um, have them own a little bit of that assessment. So embedded, the assessment's embedded. It's also student-driven and student-owned. So they take a lot. Hopefully they would, they have a, I don't know, a little bit more buy-in, I guess. Okay, you just sat through part one. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to sign off on this. We've just gone over the lesson plan. I want to go over some sample artifacts, uh, show you a, a really, really, really awesome one. One that, you know, not too bad. And one like, wow, we have a little bit uh, more issues to tackle before really worrying about um, uh, getting all of this stuff done. Um, so that's coming up. So take a deep breath. And um, I hope you click on the, the next button. Thank you.